And less than a month will be marking one year since the top's mass shooting on Jefferson Avenue. And since then, there's been a renewed focus on mental health all across our community. And now Buffalo Public Schools are taking measures into their own hands to help with the trauma that so many have experienced. Daybreak's Alexandra Rios Melvia has the story. Breathing, being mindful of others, and healing. These are all tools Buffalo Public School students learn to use to help release some of the anger and fear they've been holding on for the last year. I personally feel hurt, angry, and frustrated. You should not feel scared to go get groceries or just go to the store to work. We have nobody to guide us through all that process. Father, oh. This is the first time the district has brought students together with a certain goal. Consider the trauma that we have learning new ways to cope with the events of May 14th. I feel like these events, even though they were tragic, they changed Buffalo forever. The district brought two nationally recognized mental health experts to Buffalo to help students heal by talking about difficult subjects. Trauma is something that can be generational. It could go from, uh, he told us that it could go from four to seven generations, but he also told us that generational trauma can be broken in just one generation. Through meditation and other exercises, Dr. Angel Acosta shows students how to express themselves so their emotions don't turn into rage. Students like Paul Watson take it very seriously. Mental health and things like that is very important to me. Somebody like Dr. Angel to teach me different methods to express myself and to understand my emotions. And instead of just getting angry and just letting that anger build up, which will create trauma that lives in your body forever, a way to express myself that is beneficial. Today's summit created a space for students to talk about what happened on May 14th and the way they have responded since. The community is still hurt, like the pain and trauma of losing a relative, that's not something that goes away overnight. And as May 14th approaches... Feelings are going to come back, feelings are going to reignite, but to have someone to talk to, to have someone that they can express and vent to, they're going to need it a lot. So us as um, other people in the community, being able to be there for them is the best that we can do. Experts say normally healing summits like this one cost thousands of dollars and usually people who need them the most just can't afford to go to those retreats. And now because of this summit, students have those healing tools in their back pockets and will now be able to share them with their classmates, friends and family. There's other programs like this one scheduled for the district as we approach May 14th. I'll follow those and share them with you. Melissa Beat, back over to you.